Hey, ma'am, how are you doing? Hi, I'm doing good. Who are you with? I'm here in Who opposition to SB 277. Uh -huh. I'm here with the people. I'm here to support uh, everyday parents and Californians who are concerned about um, special interests coming in and mandating that we buy their product. I think if it was any other kind of product, uh, you'd see a lot more people here down at the State House in opposition. You know, if Ford was mandating that we all had to buy their car or some tire company, you know what I mean? It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. What about you? Why, who are you here for? I'm just here for myself. So, but you're not a child trying no, to go to school? I'm not a child. Not a, my children are all grown. So. so maybe you see the writing on the door? Yes. Uh -huh. I think I'm next. You know, if it was my child, I wouldn't want that to happen to my child. So. No, you're absolutely right. Um, it's not going to stop at children going to school. They're starting there, and, and it's not going to stop there. It's going to be adults. Eventually, everybody's. Absolutely, yeah. and, and, and it's not going to stop in California either. So, well, thanks for coming down. And I, I just want to know where I'm going to live when I have to move out of this state. <laughs> where do you run to? Yeah. And why should we have to run? My family's been here since the 1840s. Wow. And, and before that, they came over on the Mayflower, some of them. So, you know, I'm as American as it gets. And I'm sure I got family members that have fought in almost every war. So they don't have anywhere, any ground to stand on trying to say that I'm some anti-American or anti-government. No, it's, it's quite the opposite. I, I can see that our government, there's people trying to take it over and use, use the auspices of government uh, and use the uniform of government to try to uh, bully us into doing all kinds of stupid stuff. Yeah. Yep. And, and, and that's what happens when people invade. They come in and they, they put on your uniform and, you know, when the aliens come, they put on, you know, Surrender, stand down, you know, we come in peace, and then... <laughs> yeah, don't be alarmed, the vaccines are good for you. <laughs> Have you ever seen the movie um, The Last Enemy? It's a PBS show, and there's about, it's about five parts, and um, it's about, it, you find out in the end that they're, that they're vaccinating everyone, and they're putting a chip in you so that they can follow you and they know all your movements. Is, oh man. Is, is really freaky. We're way past that. That's like really that's like 1984. Yeah. You know, the Ministry of Truth. We're inside the Ministry of Truth right now. Here we are in the halls of justice. <laughs> I find it interesting that we're here and look at all these people. Look at all these people standing here in opposition to this bill and there's no media coverage of it at all. Right. Instead, all the media is inside there giving all of their attention to these legislators who stand on the podium and declare that they have this authority to mandate that everybody in California vaccinate their kids. Really? So, I, no, we're going to lose this. We are the opposition. Oh, well, we're that's not the point. They, yeah. they don't have any authority. They don't have any authority to mandate this. It's in violation of the Nuremberg Code. Right. They're trying to take away our informed consent. It's, it's against the Constitution. They don't have any right. So, you know, I look around and I see Americans in opposition to uh, a tyrannical bill that is trying to basically damage their children. And so there's no way they're going to get away with this. They're not. And I hope they know that. So, and I told them that. I said, I asked them, I said, how, how much money do you get from the pharmaceutical industry? And the woman looked at me and said, how dare, you know, how dare you? And then we're going to sue you and you're not allowed to videotape us. And it's like, well, you're, you can vaccinate our children, but I'm not allowed to videotape you while I'm asking you questions and, and debating you about it in, on, the on the steps of the Capitol. Like if there's anywhere that open debate and videotaping should be allowed, it's right there. And we're all on cameras everywhere. Look, just drive down the street. There's a camera on every intersection. Yeah. And they're worried about me video putting something on YouTube. I got, what, like five followers? <laughs> Come on. They're worried because they're lying. And I told them, I said, I'm going to take you, I'm going to take this audio of you lying and saying that there's no animal cells in the vaccines and all that. And I'm going to put it right next to a doctor talking about how they synthesize it in the kidneys, cells of monkeys and all this. And you're going to look like a, you know, a bozo. And then all that testimony you gave before the legislature is going to look pretty ridiculous. So uh, I'm just going to walk around and talk to some more parents. Okay, have a good day, Robert.
You too. And uh, your dog, by the way, is... Riker. His name's Riker. Riker? Uh-huh. He's amazing. Look at how well-behaved yeah, he is. He, he, you know, I hope he got his vaccines. I'm kind of scared right now. <laughs> All right, you have a good day. Take care, Riker. <laughs>